Um, hey, how are you? I think I think I got the gist of the question, just how how this came about. Yeah, thanks. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, yeah, I, I hadn't heard um, I hadn't heard from the wings all summer, uh, you know, in complete honesty. And uh, there were, there were some options out there early on, and there were some things that were were uh, I guess intriguing, but just nothing worth really. Uh, worth really looking into and then my phone rang on Monday Monday night as I was watching Monday night football and I was on a flight Tuesday morning so um, yeah it was just a you know it was a no guarantees PTO I think we I think I understood that coming in and knowing that that's what it was pretty much going to be um, but there is you know there is a very few select places that I was holding out to, to hope that called and this was obviously number one for me so I'm happy it did work out even if it was uh, you know short notice. Yeah, I think those those things, um, I guess, will add to a decision that they'll have to make. I think, you know, my body of work, I guess, speaks for itself is however limited it may have been last year um, with 33 games and, and a couple injuries that kind of derailed the season. But, uh, you know, I, th I, I like to think even though it was a, an injury that ended the year, we ended on a positive note with, with my conversations. Um, I, I think that they look at what I brought to the room, and I think that there's – an experience level that not a lot of guys in the room have right now. Myself, Stalzy, and Gags maybe at the at the upper echelon of games played, but uh, guys can rely on that. Guys can bounce ideas off of that, and uh, um, you know we talk about the mentor role, but I still think there's a place in the game for a guy to kind of bridge that gap between coach and player. Um, so, so all those little things I hope would add in, um, and just I think they realized too how much I I wanted to be here and loved being here last year. Is you know no place has felt this comfortable for me throughout my career and uh, I, I hope it leads to good things going forward. I just got to take care of the on ice stuff and then we can go from there. Man, I couldn't. I tried. I tried it uh, and, and got a good amount of it in. Uh, I, I just felt like it was homework, that one. I, I, I really struggled to get through that one. Uh, so no, it's still on the shelf and collecting dust, and uh, I will get back to it. I promise I will. Next up, Ted Colfin, Detroit News. Yeah, it is. There's, I think, when you have a contract and you're and you're taking reps with players that you you might be playing with, you have a comfort level. Um, whereas, you know, this year around, I I think I have a comfort level in the sense that I've been to 17 camps. I understand what the camps are all about, and I realize it's about getting to preseason games. Um, but that being said, you you feel like you're on a shorter lease, uh, leash. Excuse me. Um, and, and I think that's with. I can say that with absolute certainty that you feel tighter and a little more restrictive, but um, I am fortunate in the fact that I've been here. I know the coaching staff. I have a good rapport with everybody in the room. So that, I, I guess it's, uh, to answer your question, it's a little bit of both. And I hope you got any of that. <laughs> I'll bring listen to it on the way out. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. No, I mean it wasn't. It wasn't the first opportunity. I guess I would say um, it was just the first opportunity that I wanted to be that I wanted. Um, I I didn't. I honestly I I had a few places in mind, and that was it. Um, and Detroit was number one, and it it obviously it was tough not hearing from them and not having a dialogue uh, about it. But uh, I continued to make decisions based on the fact that this was a possibility and uh, I'm glad it came up. Our last question, we'll go to Max Bolton. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> eloquent as always. <laughs> Our 
My pleasure. Our last question will go to Max Boltman with The Athletic. Hey, Bobby, I know you said uh, kind of feeling like there's like a little shorter, shorter niche um, for, for you on the PTO. Does it change the way you play at all or your approach? Or is that something that kind of happens? It's a battle that's going through all this? I, it, I, I don't think it'll change anything. Um, I think when I look at the lineup here um, and I'm realistic, that, that the top six is pretty well spoken for, um, as well it should be. Those guys have earned that opportunity. Um, I came in with the expectations that I would be a bottom six player and maybe even a 13th forward. So I don't think I can change anything. I think I, if, if I start to play it safer and do those things, um, then I'm not playing to my capabilities as best. So I think I got to if anything, to answer your question, I would like to, to broaden my game to be a little more physical, to be a little more demanding of the puck below the circles and holding it and ragging it instead of taking opportunities to create. I think you just be a little more patient in those areas for me um, because, again, your leash isn't the same as, as a top six player right now. So that's okay. I'm okay with that. But uh, um, I won't change much, but I, I think to answer your question, my, my patience level with the puck and and – things like that have to be a little better and I have to err on the side of caution at times and uh, um, that's just part of the that's part of the process as you as you get older and you start to uh, play different roles within the organization or the team.